The family of Kyle Plush was back in City Hall this morning trying to get more answers about what happened to their son the night he died. WLWT's Brian Hamrick is live from City Hall with the latest on the investigation. Brian, what have you learned? Uh, yeah, Colin, well, the Plush family back here at City Hall, back in front of the Safety Council today, pressing for more answers about what happened and how to fix the problems. Meanwhile, the city has named two consulting firms that will do those independent investigations and try to get to the bottom of this as well. Now, Ron Plush, Kyle Plush's father, was back today. He said they made progress, but they still have a long way to go. He was happy that those two consulting firms have been named to do the independent investigations. In fact, those, one of those firms said they are beginning today with their first site visit. That first firm is 21st Century Policing. They'll look at how police handled the call to find Kyle Plush. They'll look at what was done. They'll look at the root cause of the failures, those in the police department. Now, the other firm, Mission Critical Partners, will look at the aspects of what happened inside the 911 center from procedures to technology. Now, you remember one of the problems had to do with the TTY system. That call taker on the second call came in, couldn't hear anything. The acting city manager addressed that today. The entire TTY process is being reviewed to ensure that activation of TTY does not prevent call takers from hearing audio. Call takers are now required to ensure volume is adjusted properly and to request their supervisors review the digital recording immediately, particularly when there are repeat calls from the same number. Now, one of the key points in all of this is that the 911 center had the GPS coordinates uh, that basically put a pin within three to five feet where Kyle was eventually located. Well, what they're doing is trying to update the police cars so they too can see exactly where the call taker is. They say that should be done by this summer. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.